Rodrigo is going to do a presentation on email design systems for Salesforce Marketing Cloud, which for me is this gated beast of a platform that I'm so excited to get some insight into. So thank you, Rodrigo, for participating in Parcel Impact. We're so excited that you're here. Thank you very much, Naomi, for, for, the, for allowing me to, to be in here today. I, um, I'm sorry about my English. It's not my, my native language. So I'm going you're to doing try great. But um, great, Let, let's start with this. Let me share my screen. And, uh, I don't know what I have to share. Uh, yes. Quick second. Uh, I can share my entire screen, right? Thanks. There we go. Uh, I'm creating something with it. So great. Uh, welcome to the Inbox School of Email and Wizardry, where we're going to be talking about how email design systems can work inside Marketing Cloud from Salesforce. And it has a little bit of design, a little bit of tech, and a, quite a lot of magic involved. So bear with me while I show you how I do this methodology in, in the workplace I, I be. And thank you very much for all the people at Orange Digital who are here today with me. Uh, so let's start this presentation. Uh, my name is Rodrigo Santander. I'm from Mexico City. I'm currently a solution architect at Orange Digital, and I'm six times certified from Salesforce. Currently, I hold almost every certification from Marketing Cloud and from Pardot. And I have currently a, a, a product that is called Friends of Email. It's a, a Latin American community for all Spanish people that are starting in email and that are starting in Marketing Cloud so uh, that I can help them quick start their career to understand how email works, how to make background images, why a, a button is should be done with code and not with solid code and, and things alike. So I'm very active on Twitter in English and in other places I'm active in Spanish. So I'd love to connect with everyone. If you want to chat, you want to be friends, I'm in all of those places that you can see on the slides. So um, starting first, I want to thank you for my inspiring teachers. Uh, starting with Brad Frost, the creator of the Atomic Design System. And in that, that was a mind-blowing process for me when I started reading his book online of, of how you you have atoms like in the in the nature, no? You you have atoms that, that connect themselves to form molecules. Those molecules build themselves into living organisms. And what what happens in email is that it's not a living organism, but it's a template. Um, and from there, Annette Force here created an incredible presentation on Shopify design system she created in both Figma and Marketing Cloud. And that was the moment I, I said, I need to get there. So uh, thank you very much, Annette. It's not the same thing. I heavily build more on the drag and drop system, but uh, I, I hope you can see some of your work here. And Jay Warren, who, who presented um, in, in the last hour today, uh, has been a, a very continuous help in the email community by helping me with background images, with helping me how to change the marketing cloud templates. And all the on the whole email Geek community has been very supportive in these last two years to help me quick start how, how to understand every, how everything works together. So uh, this presentation is about marketing cloud, how to build a design system exclusively on marketing cloud. There are gonna be things that you can build if you're not on this system, but just a little disclaimer about it. You can see Astro Medical here helping us today. Uh, so uh, it's heavily focused on this drag and drop system. And my motto here is that if you can build it in the point and click version and not a code version, go for it. Because what we're gonna be doing here is adding more and more people to the spectrum of what you can do in the platform and allowing the developers to focus on more heavy stuff uh, in that 40 uh, extra percent. So once it's configured, everyone is going to be able to use it. Who is this for? If you're a client who, who applied, as, who acquired Marketing Cloud, or you're a marketing team that works for a client that has Marketing Cloud, and you want an easy to use interface, you want access to developer functionality, you want to dep depend less on an agency and, and do more in Marketing Cloud, what I've seen with clients is that uh, they tend to not use the platform because it's a little uh, too heavy on, on how you understand how it works. But with methodologies like this, you can create emails very simply. And if you're an agency or an email dev or an implementation uh, service from a partner, you can edit the HTML template. You can deliver email client hacks. You can deliver accessibility things like Nagy Talk uh, semantic code on a modular level. 
and you're going to be able to save all these models in the content builder settings so you can reuse them later. And if your client uses this block, it's going to be with everything that you already built for. Uh, you also can get pre-approved design from your marketing team or from your from your client. And all these pre-built blocks you're going to have are going to have this email pre-approved. So it's going to accelerate the process of approvals because you're going to be checking more about the campaign than how the brand affects your email design. Both of these, the, what really they want is, is to create emails faster, right? So we're going to talk about how to do it. What uh, ingredients are going to be in this magic potion to create a tailored email design system for Marketing Cloud? The first thing is what we want to have to do, uh, uh, this design theory, design methodology, what tool are you going to be using, uh, like the Action Rocket team that talks about Figma, if you're, you're seeing Sketch, if you're working in Adobe XD, I've seen some people still working in Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop. The, the thing that you want to do here is to, to have a uh, tool that allows you to have components to save colors, to save font systems, to have different versions of each element so that when you, you build upon that, you're going to translate it into Marketing Cloud. The second bit is the email code best practices and email client hacks, which are super important. Um, uh, Outlook conditionals, how to get things done in Yahoo, uh, Gmail is going to grab my email at 102 kilobytes, et cetera, et cetera. And that is what really defines us as an email community, right? So it's going to be an essential part of how we build it. And lastly, the drag and drop marketing cloud functionality inside content block, inside content builder for content blocks. So we can start building from there. So this potion recipe starts with the foundations of your design. These are the design guidelines from your brand, which include your font stack. If you're going to be building with a website font and a custom font and be changing between them so you see how it affects your layout, uh, the primary and secondary colors, how are your links are going to look, how are your buttons are going to be, uh, are they going to be big enough for accessibility reasons, uh, are you going to define the spacings of each element? And in, what I've been working on is, is how do you even define the image size for each and every one of these blocks? So when you go to with the design team, it's fairly easy to tell them, ah, yeah, you have to use this content block that is 600 by 300 pixels, and it's going to um, accelerate your design process. You, you have to be able to, to get the use cases for each brand. I mean, an e-commerce brand doesn't do the same content blocks that, uh, I don't know, Audible or Amazon, uh, and these are all e-commerce, right? But another system's um, brand design should be different. How atoms start working, they are going to be your base elements. You have your title, you have your paragraph, you have a button, you have an image with a defined space and, and spacing, and you start adding considerations like, uh, well, you have your brand assets, and these brand assets are going to be uh, dark mode compliance. You, you can have this halo, your light, or, or a border that keeps the, the design of your logo sane and safe when, when you add it another place. And when these atoms uh, get together, when they connect, they're going to build molecules, right? You have an image, you have a text and a button, and they, they get together inside a molecule. And what we're going to call these molecules inside Marketing Cloud are going to be content blocks. And these content blocks, you can save them in your content block library in, in a nomenclature-defined system, so you can use it later. Um, you can create anything from the spacing to the stacking to the background color, etc., inside each of any of these. And lastly, you're going to be using these content blocks to build them inside Marketing Cloud to create a template. But we're not doing the boring way where you have three templates, and from these templates, you have to create each and every one of your messages. Uh, what I'm talking about is you have 30 or 40 content blocks, and the combinations become limitless, and that's really where these things shine. So you can start creating more and more and more designs in the process while everything stays on brand and everything as email geeks, we, we understand that uh, you have to, to secure that they're going to work on each and, and every one different email client, right? It, it has to work on Outlook, it has to work on Gmail, it has to work in the, the different versions of Outlook. And that is hardly uh, a, a simple task, but it's fairly doable if you keep it from here. So we talk about the ingredients, but what happens with our tools of the trade? And our tools of the trade in Marketing Cloud are going to be these content blocks. And stay with me. 
the muggle blocks are going to be these blocks that are able to use by everyone. We have a fairly no code interface because it has code inside, but uh, we get uh, what you see is what you get editor. You can change links, you can change images, you can uh, apply styles, you can apply the spacings, and you have the text block, you can apply an image block, you have a free form to get a visibility of the code that stays behind. The second ones are the wizard blocks, um, which uh, the dev tools are really going to shine here because you have access to the HTML editor. You can do VML, you can do uh, Outlook those tables, and you can do even semantic code. The last one are not really blocks, but it's the dark cards blocks, where we can edit the template of our HTML template in Marketing Cloud to enhance it to, get, to have uh, better ways of working. And I'm going to show you in, how in the process. Let's start with model blocks. You can, as you can see here in the in the left, we have how the, the Marketing Cloud Platform in Content Builder works. You can define the spacing, the marking, the padding. You can define how the background is going to look. You can see if, if you want to stack them left to right, right to left, or do a non-stacking in mobile. And that helps us a lot to do the LDR or RTL definitions that are usually code-based. You can do it in Marketing Cloud with a few clicks. And that really is a, is a time saver for everybody because uh, we don't want to, to be rebuilding everything from scratch every time we do it, right? And if Marketing Cloud allows us to make this simpler, we, we are going to do it. Um, we can add an image look. Some things I, I've seen from many people that uh, if you add the scale to fit, but you don't check the, the width dimension of your image, this image is going to break in Outlook. So uh, I, tend to, I do watch that in the documentation of this type of content blocks to help people in my team and on the client's team understand that uh, how it's going to break, how it's going to affect them, and all these things you're going to see in the documentation process later. What about the wizard blocks? And here is where developer teams can truly shine on a modular level. Uh, through these blocks, we can create experimental blocks. We can do Fox positioning, like what even Totos and Sayo. Uh, we can create background images with PML, like I'm showing you here. That is uh, a mega uh, block of code, but it works. And it can work on a modular level in some marketing cloud with all the things we're doing. Uh, we can create um, with a third party solution, we can create charts that are abided by information from your data extensions or from your uh, data systems that are connected to Marketing Cloud, a CRM, data lakes, etc. cetera. Uh, you can add PML buttons through the HTML of the freeform element. And if you're talking about text elements, uh, the text the text content block, you can add the all the semantic code, the H1s, the H2s, the paragraphs, which currently the, what you see, what you get the editor from Marketing Cloud is, is very picky and doesn't really understand how this code should work. So uh, we always work with our clients to help them understand how to do very basic HTML stuff so they can understand how this can can pretty much uh, be a better solution in, in, in between accessibility points and semantic level. So you, you have to already, uh, if you're going to do something like this, always leave instructions for the rest of your team so they can understand how to build a block. For instance, when I build a, a BML block of a, of a button, I always leave instructions like, you have to change your alias here, you have to change the link here, and you can change the text here, and the color goes here. And that really helps everybody to understand how they can uh, edit these buttons. Next come the dark arts blocks, dark arts. And here is where we change the template of your HTML. What happens with Marketing Cloud's HTML basic template? Uh, it's gonna be missing some stuff, as we can see in the part on the top. Uh, it starts with HTML4 transitional, which isn't a bad thing, but if we want to future-proof our templates, so uh, when can I email starts telling us, telling us that Outlook started, uh, I don't know, doing border radius or any, anything that comes in, in the future, we're going to be able to do it right. Next, what we can see is that there's no language defined. And this is a very heavy thing because we do need to define the language so, so the, the email renders correctly when, when it, it gets to our subscribers. And so we're going to be doing uh, very basic stuff in this template. We're going to edit the HTML5 definition. We're going to add the language. And we can go an extra step and define here uh, a simple variable in AMScript that defines the language uh, defined by what we do in our journeys or our automations. 
uh, let's say this subscriber lives in Mexico City, and then you have to add it in the Spanish language. If this subscriber lives in USA, then uh, you have to add them the English language and so on and so on, no? right? So what we're really doing here is doing the combination of what Marketing Cloud really allows us through Amscript and, and the code solution and the intelligence behind with what our template is going to be working on. Uh, we're going to add the VML schemas. These VML schemas are going to help us do exactly what I showed you here, the, the background images, uh, the VML buttons, and that everything, if we're going to do experiments with VML, so they work just fine. And lastly, but not, not fairly simple, we're going to add the MSO 120 DPI version image hack, which help us then in some versions of Windows, the Windows you can add a zoom to your texts, so if you do that, it's a Windows definition, but Outlook is going to start breaking your images. So it's something very small that you can add to your head. In the last part of your head, you add this code. And with that, uh, thank you very much, Cody Fantinato, for doing an amazing uh, note about it. If you want to read more, I can share you a link. Uh, so everything that you see here, you, we're going to save it into a Marketing Cloud Enhanced template that we're going to be uh, saving inside Content Builder. And if we can start doing different templates that pre-start with different content blocks that we already have to create, I don't know, the transactional email, the merchant's email, the uh, last audiobook email, and we can jump to these pre-made templates and just change the content blocks and do things very faster. Uh, we can go a little more inside these templates and add a content area through data type slots uh, where uh, we're going to add things like we see here. Currently, Marketing Cloud by default asks you these content blocks for the content of your email. But what we really want to do is have a CSS content block in your head. So you can add anything you wish, anything you want to the head of your email. And this has been a truly a game changer for me and my team because uh, if, if you, you think of the process of you have an email design and you say, ah, I have to change the typography. And then you go back to the template, open the template, edit the, te the template, go back to your email, change the template, view that the template broke everything in your email and change everything again. That is a process that at least takes 10 minutes in Marketing Cloud. So uh, doing this eliminates all this process and you get it uh, detached from the template and everything you want to do that is experimental, that is a PML, uh, a new CSS that you have to add for a conditional of, of Outlook version 2016 and so on, you're going to be able to add it here. Uh, I usually use it for every brand phone that we do. I have a, a, block, a content block that is for the main uh, brand. And if we do a campaign, we just switch this block with the different fonts that we're using with uh, different colors, with different things, and everything switches, just like what Negan showed us with the checks hack, but with a content block, right? So um, we also be, wanna be able to check the Amscript solutions right in this block. So it's gonna be fairly simple to not break your email design with Amscript and leave it all in the head process. You have to get everyone on board. If you don't get everyone on board, really this design system is gonna be a uh, um, Mm, un desperdicio de tiempo, a waste of your time. So uh, the clients and the marketing team, they're going to be able to become marketing cloud champions. I love this because we, with the clients I have, uh, we've been able to create people who understand how the systems work and start creating emails. And they told me, hey, everybody will have, um, we, Friday night, 8 p.m., no one is here. My marketing team's not here. My designer's not here. You're not here. And I was able to make an email and send it at 9 p.m. So that 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 was a game changer for everybody. Uh, so they can use these predefined blocks to create professional emails, fairly simple. Uh, it takes a minute, really, to create a template. And from there, you just start checking copies, can, changing images, changing links, and checking that everything is fine. What happens with designers, you're going to be able to tell them about image sizes, start more changes, how background images work, and they focus more on the creative side, more on the structure. Developers, with all the grinding work out of the way, you're going to be focusing on delivering new features, on working more on upstream personalization, on doing the lookups. Uh, really, drag and drop isn't a limitation for anybody. It's more uh, about an accessibility process for Marketing Cloud that you can um, 
scale who can use this platform, right? And lastly, copywriters. Uh, copywriters are very important for a design system because uh, they, they are going to help you understand wh where does the hierarchy work or, or for the structure of your content, how the titles have to look, how the paragraphs have to look, how many characters are going to be inside a button and so on and so on. So it's going to be very simple to work with, uh, I, I don't know, you would have on the blog one three five seven designers get the images copywriters get the text and we all get uh, an email done in, in fairly minutes um, what happens with documentation an email design system without documentation is really a, a ui kit we don't want that we want this this email design system to truly work for everyone in your team so you have to document everything uh, you have to create a knowledge base. You have to get your team to collaborate, collaborate on this knowledge base and other special considerations for each of these roles. For example, what we see here is uh, a button, the primary button that is done in BML button. Here is not a BML code, sorry. But um, you can see the specifications. You're going to have a background color, a font size, a border color, a max character limit, and you're going to define all that you're going to be able to apply a full code snippet so they just go, they can just copy and paste. You could do a, a quick solution so they can change it in a front end and just copy that and take it to Marketing Cloud. What I do here all the time is that I have Parcel open and Marketing Cloud open and I copy the code, edit it in Parcel and get back together so everything works just fine. And how about the, the team considerations? Imagine that you're talking to your client. I'm going to tell them, hey, don't use the Marketing Cloud button in Marketing Cloud because that default button is going to break in Outlook. You have to use this one that is saving your library and you have to use it this way. For your developers, you're going to tell them that BML uh, duplicates the code inside the A and outside the A. So you're going to have to write the, attri the attributes of CSS twice, right? And why does it happen? And that if you don't and you, you send it to email on Acid or Litmus, you're going to see a different text in Outlook and in Gmail, you're going to see other totally different thing, right? And the copywriter, you're going to tell them, hey, don't use click here, don't use view here, tell me more about the context of the, of the message. And you can go out of a 24 character limit, for instance, in this button. So this documentation process is going to help us streamline all the messages across the, the board so everyone, everyone can truly use it. So by using this methodology in Salesforce Marketing Cloud with B2B and B2C brands, I've been able to cut email creations from time from one week to barely 30 minutes. I'm not talking about the, the design process, right? The, or creating images and that, but in the configurations of the emails, we've, we've taken really this, this time uh, length apart. And we've been able to get automations campaign ready up to three times faster. So this, this has been really very useful for our clients and for our team because both the internal team saves time and our clients saves time and we all get ready faster and that means more money for our clients. Last message, but uh, the most important one, you're building a brand guide for email. Uh, I don't know how it works in other countries here in Mexico, almost no, uh, almost no brand has a brand guide specific for email. They may have something for a website. They may have some digital things that they take into consideration. Well, when you get to email, uh, they don't know what is going to happen in dark mode. They don't know what is going to happen in Outlook. So they just switch to all image emails. And understanding how this works is going to be what defines this change for them. So ah, I didn't know accessibility was an, uh, a feature uh, uh, so important, right? And, and this brand guy is going to help them add it to their official brand guide and change all the things that you're really considering. So more than that, you're creating documentation for email. And I, I really hope you, that this, this has been useful for you. If you work in Marketing Cloud and you do something like this, I would love to see what you do. Would love to know if, if this has been useful in some way. And well, I'm, I'm here in, in each and every one of these, of these links you want to talk. I have a community in Spanish. Uh, hola a todos. Eh, es, es, I hope that this has been uh, useful and thank you very much for the parcel team for everything. Thank you so much. I learned a ton, mostly about Salesforce Marketing Cloud, but I also came to terms with that I am a muggle of the email world, um, which wasn't something I thought I was going to figure out today and I'm okay with it.
it's fine. Uh, I'm non-technical and Avi is the wizard and I'm the muggle. And that's just the way it is. Uh, thank you so, so much. You're a natural presenter. And that was so packed with so much great information. Um, so I want to thank you for being here.